Namaste children, I am Hari Prasad, your chemistry teacher. Children, today's topic is indicators. What are indicators? Indicators are nothing but chameleon. How it is chameleon? A chameleon is going to change the color according to the surroundings. In the same way, indicators are going to change the color according to the pH values. Then what are indicators? Indicators are the weak organic acids or bases which change the color according to the pH values. For any compound to behave as an indicator, minimum it has to produce two colors, one in acid medium and another one in alkaline medium. For example, you take a litmus, in neutral it is purple, in acid medium it is red and in alkaline medium it is, it is going to produce blue color. Methyl orange, in neutral it is orange, in acid medium red, alkaline medium it is yellow. Phenophthalene, in neutral it is colorless, in acid medium also colorless and in alkaline medium it is pink color. And alkaline phenophthalene, in neutral it is pink color, acid medium it is colorless and in alkaline medium it is pink. Okay. Now children, we will see all these colors now. Now we will start the practicals. Okay children. Now what we have done is that in two test tubes we have taken methyl orange which is orange in color and two more test tubes we have taken phenophthalene which is colorless and in two more test tubes we have taken alkaline phenophthalene which is pink in color along with that one red litmus and one blue litmus and the acids and bases that I have taken for this experiments are HCl and sodium hydroxide. Now we'll start with HCl. Now just observe very carefully children. I'm adding HCl to methyl orange. Just observe the color change. See immediately it turned into what color? Red color. So methyl orange will give you red color in acid medium. Now one more test tube to that I will add sodium hydroxide. Yes observe very carefully. Yes, it turned into yellow color. So, conclusion from this one is methyl orange gives red color in acid medium and yellow in alkaline medium. Right children? Now, let us go to the next test tube containing phenophthalene indicator which is colorless. So, to this I am adding HCl which is acid. So, there is no change in the color. So, phenophthalene gives colorless in acid medium. Now, to another test tube, I will add sodium hydroxide. Observe very carefully children, sodium hydroxide is a base. What is the color you are supposed to get? Yes, see, it's a beautiful pink. Now, conclusion from this one is, phenophthalene gives colorless in acid medium and pink in alkaline medium. Now children, the next test tube. What is this? Yes, you are right. Alkaline phenophthalene. Alkaline phenophthalene is pink in color. To this, first I will add acid. Observe what is the color change. Observe very carefully. Yes, see. So, alkaline phenophthalene turned into colorless in what, what medium? Acid medium, right? Now, to one more test tube which contains alkaline phenophthalene, I will add sodium hydroxide which is a base. Observe very carefully. Is there any change? No. There is no change in the color. Pink remains pink. So conclusion from this one is alkaline phenophthalene which, we, which is pink in color turns into colorless in acid medium and it remains pink in alkaline medium. Right children? Now. What I'll do is that, how do you confirm that sodium hydroxide is a base? Observe here, for that I have taken a red litmus, right? See, observe the color changes very carefully. What is going to happen to the red litmus? Observe, observe, observe very carefully. See, can you see? The red litmus turned blue. So, sodium hydroxide is a base, right? Now, what I'll do is that I'll take a blue litmus. 
to this i will treat with hcl which is acid observe very carefully what has happened so it is turned into what color children observe very carefully it has turned into red color so hcl is a acid so conclusion from this one is litmus will give you a red color in acid medium and blue color in alkaline medium okay children i hope you have understood all these things thank you very much children namaste